up? This is KLG Crazy Awesome Radio. You're listening to Cloudy Girl. I'm your host. And we have Alex1188 with us tonight. Hello. <laughs> and we have Kizrek. Also known as Zombie, also known as Liam, also known as... What else are you known as? <laughs> your, your name was actually Zombie Trill? I didn't know that. I didn't know. No, no, no. Just, just Zombie. Z-O-M dash B. Uh, what are we doing? It's another Drunken Fest Friday. I don't usually drink, but I got... I'm hungover. But it's officially Saturday, though. <laughs> so we're doing Wait, this. Wait, Alex, if you're just waking up, what time is it where you're at? <laughs> Sir, what time is it here? <laughs> Three. In the morning? Uh, yeah. So yeah. Like, I, have, uh, I, have, I have weird hours. Yeah, it's about 3 here, too. I got home at like 12.40-ish. Oh, yeah, you just got out of work. Yeah, man, it was raining all day. California has been under, like, this massive rainstorm. Huh. Like, years ago, people were talking about El Nino, like, be careful, we're going to have El Nino, and nothing really happened. It's like, what they were talking about then is what's happening now. It has been raining since January, every other day almost. It hasn't really... We're supposed to get rain. I think, like, in the next couple of days, or, like, next week, we're going to get rain, I think. I'm calling it. We had this massive drought, <laughs> and, and we had a drought for, like, what, four years? And now I'm going to say that we're going to get flooded. I feel like we're going to get flooded. <laughs> Why is your mic so loud? Do you hear it? You don't hear it loud? It's, like... It's, I think it's too loud, though. Me? Yeah, I yeah. Can turn it down. Turn it yeah, down. Right. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. You sound like. Uh, you sound black. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, not now. Mm, a little lower. A little bit lower. Lower? Yeah, because I think you're overpowering. I think you're like louder than Alex. Well, you're not louder than me because I'm not on a speaker. But you're louder than Alex. Alex is kind of lower. How about this? That's good. Say something else. Beatbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was actually jamming to that. I was like, yeah. That is so crazy. You got so good at that. I'm going to take my first shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate drinking so much. Why? You know, when people, um, I just don't like the taste. And, like, the effect I'm cool with, but the taste is terrible. Well, and is there's it? always those people who say, well, nobody's mixed you the right drink. And it's like, you cannot mask the alcohol taste. <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm, I'm going with absolute. I used to drink Sky. Uh, Sky is good. Sky was kind of like it had like three strikes when Absolute has two strikes. And I guess what I mean is like Absolute maybe has like the nasty cold taste, but it doesn't have like a aftertaste. Like Sky will, will give me like throat burn the cold feeling and like all the you know it's worse <laughs> what's that a fairy no oh, that was Resident <laughs> Evil 2 playing <laughs> uh, what's going on with music these days what are y'all doing yeah. I'm Reveal. Break from music. Reveal your secrets. Tell me what you're up to. For me, well, I'm making a song with Alex. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're doing that, you know, but I'm not really, like, doing much. <laughs> Just sending samples. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's crazy what I was able to do with those. Yeah, it was. It was uh, I, I was impressed. I was like, this is this is insane. <laughs> and this has never been done <laughs> it's before. It's pretty crazy. This is all. This I is would, all new ground. Um, I've been working on this like hypothetical hysteria is what it's going to be called. And when I first thought about it, like maybe a year ago, I wanted it to just be like insane noise. Like, go figure, like, not what it turned out to be. <laughs> but you have like so many people you're collabing with, right? I'm in there too. Yeah, each song has like four people. I think me and Alex, will, that, our song will just be me and him. But like for Larry, like Larry sent me banjos, and Jackson is gonna send me like a drone kind of uh, ambient s s song. So I'm gonna like have Larry and Jackson be on the same track. Yeah. My brother sent me a beat, and I like added some guitars to it. And I'm gonna have my friend Quincy rap on it. And I sent you. You want me to scream on it? Are you gonna scream? I feel like I heard a song from you earlier, Alex. It was on the, um, uh, the, fuck. I don't remember what it's called. The, the album cover has, like, blood splatters on it. Oh, yeah, I know which one. Uh... That's, like, every, that, that's very vague. Every album has blood splatters on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a digital under, underground's one. Oh, the Halloween one. Yeah, the or Halloween. Or was it the Valentine's Day crossover with Halloween? It was Zombie Love, Volume uh, 8. Yeah. I actually I don't have it open. I which song right I put on there. You put Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, that wasn't screaming. That was just. It was, it was kind of like you were angry talking. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to try to, like. I like <laughs> Nine Inch Nails. Like, Nine Inch Nails is cool. But I downloaded a lot of his stuff, and it's like he's an artist that I can respect. But he has he has a lot of songs that are terrible. But I wanna <laughs> I wanna try to make I wanna try to make music that kind of like gives off his same vibe. Like I like Reptile. That's a good song. March of the Pigs is good. A lot of Nine Inch Nails music has like the same like. Uh, a formula like it's just different words and different sounds you know what I mean yeah he he definitely has like a formula of everything that every have you heard of... his CD ghost yeah, that, yeah. that's even, dope I'm still trying to finish that <laughs> I, that's a cool CD I like that he he made a whole like what is it three albums and he's not doing any vocals yeah. oh it's all instrumental yeah, I kind of feel like he did it so he could get his music in the movies, you know? It, it, it sounded like instrumental stuff or stuff that didn't work out, work and throughout, like, his entire career. Like, he wanted to look... It was just, like, a compilation of, like, instrumentals. Yeah, some of it's really badass, huh? Like, uh, he has that one song where it's just kind of like a... Uh, like a high pitch, like bing, 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 and he's like playing almost like really acoustic guitar. Like he's got some pretty interesting stuff where he just—it's not typical Nine Inch Nails. When was that released? How did I miss that one? I got a favorite song on there, but I, I don't—I can't couldn't even tell you which song it is. <laughs> yeah, because they like goes like one through thirty, and then like goes to one through thirty. But it's got these like really kick-ass like live drums in them. <laughs> they just like kind of like echo, and there's like, I, this distorted guitar, and it just sounds crunchy. It's great. I personally like those kind of albums, like how he just named each track Ghost One One, Ghost One Two, Ghost One Three. Like that's cool. <laughs> Trent Reznor is my hero. <laughs> I feel the same about him as I do with Aphex Twins, because I, I I listen to all his CDs, and it's the same thing. Like they, like Aphex Twins has. This is just my opinion, 
he has like maybe 20 great songs, but then he has millions of shitty songs. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I can, I mean, I have a ton of shitty songs, so oh, I'm wondering if like, <laughs> I'm wondering if like all the Aphex Twin stuff is, is shit he made in the past or something, you know, like when he was learning. Okay, Possibly. ghost. I, mean, I have shit on there that I did in, on, on my band camp that I did when I was like, I don't know, 15. <laughs> I'm a big believer on not deleting anything you do. <laughs> Unless it's like something really cringy. <laughs> it's just like, oh, why? this is terrible, I should throw that away. <laughs> I don't think, I've never, I've never deleted anything. I'm gonna start releasing stuff that I would never have released. <laughs> so like, Cla Claudia probably knows like some of these. Like, you know, remember Synapse? Yeah. <laughs> like, that was me and my friends being really stupid, and that like now I don't care. I'm I'm gonna make a Synapse CD and like put the best ones in there. Is that Concrete Eaters? Cut, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like it's a there's a song where Cameron is singing about colors and then JT raps. See, okay, you need to break those down because Alex don't know. You're from you're originally from Georgia. Yeah, I grew up in Augusta, Georgia, where they have the Masters golf tournament. That's like the only thing that can make people realize where it is. <laughs> and, um, I had a really awesome group of friends, and we all used to make art, juggle, and. Videos. Shit together, yeah, and then they kind of like we all got older. Um, bullshit happened. We all went to college. People died, moved, and then I moved to LA. Um, basically, because I knew more people out here than I did in New York. Oh, you would have gone to New York. Yeah, I always wonder what it would be like if I chose New York. I was like, Probably would have became like all artsy and shit. Yeah, you would have been like one of those. You know, like you know, like an art snob. You know, like how they are in New York, just like that's <laughs> not art. This pile of shit is art. <laughs> but yeah. New York is like straight up like they they're like fuck you or they're like hey I like you. I feel like West Coast and this it fucking eats at me all the time. People just lie to your face <laughs> and. It's like out here they don't think, they don't feel like they're lying. I don't know, I can't explain it. But New York would have been more straightforward. Like, New York don't I would have, have time. made more connections. But that's the thing, New York doesn't have time to fucking lie. They just they just say it how it is and they're not fucking around. And California Yeah, like, like, like a New Yorker will bump into you and be like, get the fuck out of my face. And then if you bump into <laughs> like a California, they'll be like, oh, my bad, here's my number, let's be best friends. <laughs> no, but like an example, I don't want to name names, but this guy was going to hire me to do some art, and he was like really serious about it to where he kept contacting me to where I was like, all right, let's meet up. And then after we meet up, he said that he can't do it. He's like getting somebody else to do half of it. He might pay me to do the rest of it later. Uh, but that's the kind of shit that always happens out here. Which I'm going to say, Claudia, that it's cool that you're doing this radio show right now because most people would have just bailed on it. Oh, no. I, I've been doing this shit since 2012. We've been making radio shows. Like, I met some comedy people out here, and what I like about them is they... They're fast. Like, uh, I was very wary of them at first because they were saying what everyone else was saying. Like, hey, we're going to give you a show. We're going to do this. And, like, these guys have hooked me up. Like, I'm doing my first battle, like, my first legitimate battle, which I guess I could plug right here. Oh, wait, it's wait, wait. Totem on, wait. on April 1st. Wait, before, and, wait, wait. We're running out of time. I need to start a new uh, part. We have, like, 10-minute increments. So, hold that thought. Because it's, it's Spreaker? Yeah. <laughs> so, hold That's that thought. That's another reason why me and Alex never used it. <laughs> oh, shit, I better say something racist. Oh, no, not <laughs> Alex. I mean, I met Alex. Alex Oswalsley. He's my friend that I do beatboxing with. <laughs>
All right, we are live, KLG Crazy Awesome Radio Part 2 of our Drunken Fest Friday, which is now Saturday, but we're still going to say it's Friday. It's still Friday. It's still Friday to me. It's my... Friday. <laughs> so, okay, well... Uh, yeah, I was talking about Totem. Yeah, Totem. So these comedy guys, they do shows at Time Warp Records down the street, and I kind of, like... It's weird how it happened. I go to these open, I go to these open mics, and they there's this guy named Mario, and he does comedy sets, and he's one of the people who like you know chat with me. And this one day after the open mic, I kind of just he he asked me if I wanted to do a, a music for his comedy show, and I just kind of jokingly I tell everyone this. I was like, hey. Um, possible that you could throw a beatbox battle <laughs> and I, I like honestly did not think anything would come from it because they're comedians and like within a week he hit me back up he got me the show for his thing so I did that gig and then like a month goes by he gets three of his friends in on a meeting and they're like hey we like this idea and so uh, basically the end of December this guy named Roland He's the, uh, me and him are throwing it, but it's all thanks to these guys. So it's like, it's big for me because I've, we've had a lot of battles out here and we've helped a lot of people run battles and we've kind of done like free ones on the, on the beach, but this is the first one where I've actually had a venue. That's cool. How many people show up to these things? Uh, we, the last one we had was in Venice on the beach and it was completely free. There was no prize. We had a battle, but it was just fan, it's called fantasy battles. So it was a seven to smoke fantasy battle. And I took my uh, battery setup out there and we had like probably 30 people, which isn't huge. But when you think about it, we had people come from San Francisco, um, Baja, California, Mexico, Arizona, and some other states. So it was that's pretty crazy. That's impressive. This is a pretty good turnout. And what what are like what's the rules of a battle? I've never really understood it. You take turns, right? Beatbox battling It's like a love hate relationship with me. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's kinda like it's like if I took somebody and I and I said, "Hey, Alex and Claudia are battling." <laughs> Me, it's like it's like it's like taking the Mona Lisa and asking somebody to judge it compared to like a graffiti. Oh wall. yeah, that's you know what I mean. And, and it's like I like battles, but I feel like there's no way to judge them properly because usually in a battle there's three judges and. Of course, judges have favorites. So, like, what what beatboxers run into is that, like, let's say the judges are all old school judges. So they grew up in the past. They liked uh, old school beatboxers. So when they hear us beatboxing, they kind of don't appreciate the new stuff. So they're more likely to pick people who do basic beats and, and old school styles. Yeah. So I've been like, I, I kind of want to see beatboxing go in the direction where they start making specific battles. Like there's a beatboxer named Slizzard, and he's won a couple battles, but when he goes up against these pros, he just gets squashed, unfortunately. But the dude is a genius with musicality. So I feel like if they had a battle and they said, this is a musicality battle, Slizzard would win. And I feel like we need more of those. Like this is a technicality battle. So, certain and earn those titles. Is that my computer? Huh? What happened? You kind of faded out a little bit. Talk, say something. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm looking for <laughs> <laughs> totally butchered that story. <laughs> oh my god, Alex. Well, um, 
what do you guys like? What do you think of beatboxing? Like, what, if you th if you hear beatboxing, like, who comes to your mind? The Fat Boys. But I'm old, boys, I'm old, old school. school. Yeah, that's what I remember. That's the first beatboxing I ever heard was. <laughs> they were doing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, Daggy Flash, right? <laughs> His click rolls are good. I can't really click roll. Yeah, like... that was super old school. But I honestly, I never dreamed that it was going to get this big or. As as advanced, I guess, progressed as it has, because it's become something of an art form. When before it was just something that they jokingly did, you know, like it. What I never yeah, thought that it was serious. Yeah, beatboxing is that crazy. I always thought it but was. But I just. I kind of feel like it's hit a wall. Really, like like yo-yoing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like it's like. You can still come up with new paths, new uh, concepts and tricks and songs and stuff. It's just like, I feel like back when dubstep got popular, musicians were trying to wobble everything. It doesn't matter what sound you had, like, let's wobble it. Yeah. It's like Alex's chair right there. <laughs> It'd be like, let's take that sample and make it go. Bid, 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 bid. <laughs> and then Trap, Trap comes out, and Trap is like... So the rules got even more loose. It's like you can use any sound you want. Like let's get a baby farting and coughing and pitch shift it. <laughs> so it's like because of dubstep and trap, it made sounds with beatboxing like <laughs> and, like acceptable. <laughs> and uh, I feel like we we hit a wall because we can't make up new sounds. You yeah. know, like the human human voice box can only do so much and I feel like now it's gonna be who can make the best music it's not gonna be who can do the craziest techniques or the craziest sounds it'll be who can make like the per the people dance yeah do people dance at the at the battles Alex, what are you doing Alex uh, making cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> I'm for a lighter. Oh, do they break dance at the battles? Do you have a top roller? <laughs> yeah. I had I found one of those in a backpack out here and then I sold it. <laughs> There's a guy named Rips One. And he says that uh, people mo like form mosh pits at his shows. Shut up. Really? Yeah, like, it's cool. Because, I mean, with beatboxing, you can change. Like, what's cool about beatboxing is uh, it, like, changes with what's popular. You know, like, back back in, like, 2011, everyone was doing dubstep beatbox. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. And now it's like... again. <laughs> 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 Dude, that was so fucking dope. <laughs> like back back in 2011, it, it's it basically if somebody if you told somebody you were a beatboxer, they would say, "Can you do throat bass?" And that's what throat bass is. And then it's like now, well, I don't know. It's it's going from technicality to musicality. So I would say 2012 to 2014 was how crazy technical can you get now it's kind of calming down and it's like how musical can you get kind of you know like like grimes you know she uh has like all this shit but she makes really good music oh grimes I haven't heard enough of her stuff. I haven't heard any of her new stuff, but I've... Like, she has a song... I, am I thinking of Grimes or am I thinking of Bjork? Like, where there's like a song where everybody's making the beat with their voice. I think it's Bjork. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that's her. She does more, like, electronic stuff. 
I don't know. How would you describe her? Claudia, somebody said that my uh, windowsill song, they said that I was a male version of Grimes. <laughs> but, really? And then I listened to Grimes and I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't hear the connection. <laughs> windowsill? Which was that one? That's a, the singing song, the first singing song I did. Oh, you have, okay, your vocal is very unique, and I still can't place what it reminds me of. Like it's. I like, haven't released anything yet, though. That, <laughs> that CD I've been working on since, like, I feel like 2013. Yeah. Have I have you a rap CD, too. So it's like, I'm not a rapper, but I'm going to make a rap CD, and I'm going to make a singing CD, and then, like, <laughs> fuck it. In the future, I might make a country CD. Like, I feel like as a musician, I have to try it all. Well, I, I want to make a blues record sometime down the future. That would be cool. <laughs> well, I started making a beat with Larry's banjos, and that shit's cool as hell. He sent me, it's only like 40 seconds what he sent me, so it's like, I have limited things I can do yeah. but it made me realize like shit I could just have Larry like send me stuff and then because he's playing a banjo I can make folk music now because I have something to go off yeah and it's like they're real samples you're not like finding them somewhere it's people but that's why I like um I like I'm trying to collaborate more because like how you sent me your guitars Claudia like yeah. I'm I wouldn't be able to play that style with guitar and like it turned into like a punk beat yeah so it's, it's like it's pretty awesome i liked it i have a friend named bruno and he plays bass and like i learned this a long time ago like i had him me and him were uh, sorry on my singing cd so it's like not many people have heard stuff from that but when i recorded him all i did was give him a tempo a little and he just went crazy on bass, and when I put it in Fruity Loops, it was like five seconds of work, and I had the outline of entire song. And I was like, holy shit, like, Damn. <laughs> I should just record people and like collaborate, because then it makes, like, it makes it go by quicker, and then you're able to do music that you're not usually able to do. Well, you know what that, what that puts you in now? You're, now you're a producer. Well, yeah, but I feel like... I've always been a producer, right? Well, of other people, though. Like, you're using other people's uh, samples and creating... I don't know. I think you're more. You're getting more into the producing than, than before now, which is good. I feel like if I had people... Like, I tried so hard. I was part of a band called Centundra Moon. I feel like they broke up. Um, they were going to make a CD... It was like a big power struggle and then all of us kind of separated, but they were going to make a CD and I kept trying to convince them, like, let me make it, like, let me make it. Yeah. And they wouldn't let me do it, but it would have been such a cool thing because I was trying to explain to them. She, she was real strict. She wanted to record the guitar with her effects on it. But what I was trying to tell her is if I record you play raw, we can make whatever sound you want. I can add the reverb you want and like, we can tweak it to be like perfect who doesn't you know, me and this in the sax player dipped we that he my, the sax player said it best the band the band's leaders were like they give you crayons and they tell you what shapes and what colors they use like here john <laughs> you get blue and you can only draw circles and, that, uh, <laughs> and that's what it was like it, it wasn't like hey let's make up something it was like we just made up a song and, <laughs> yeah, like, this is this is our song like me, me and the sax player were always asking the band like can we make up a song together and they'd be like yeah sure and then like we'd come into practice next week and they'd be like we just made up five new songs like hurry up and learn it makes like do this kind of beat to it uh, play this sax <laughs> and with that we end part two and then we're coming back with part three I need to take a shot. <laughs> Someone needs to be drunk. Smoke drug plants. <laughs> we <Hi>. are live. <laughs> take it, Alex. Take it away. Welcome to KLG Crazy Ass Radio. Uh, Claudia is getting something to drink, so I'm gonna ask 
Kizrak. Oh, hey, it's pronounced Kizrak, but Kizrak. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I, I might, like when I first made my name. So, so if you take Kurzik, that's my last name, and you reverse the actual audio, Kurzik, Kizrak, but like grammatically, like you're pronouncing it correctly. It's just that I went off of how it actually sounded. I've been pronouncing it wrong for years. Oh, shit. Uh, what should, uh, what should I ask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not a journalist. Uh, this video that we're doing, uh, Oh, like yeah, that. hey, um, all right, check this out. I'm going to pitch it to you, because, uh, if you are saying that you can't do much with music, I know you can do a lot with film. So like what I wanted to do with the album is have visuals to it, but I was gonna like record TV static, uh, record TV static and use the actual TV static like filters on the Vegas and shit. And I was gonna like maybe make it symmetrical. And I have a friend who does animations and he told me I could use some of his stuff. And so what would be cool is like, even if you have stuff you've already made with like spaceships flying around, I'm just gonna put that through the static. So there's like something like, you know, I'm gonna go out with film like dirt. One of my ideas was like thrashing my body around so that like, if you slow it down, it'll just look like this weird human like contorting in the background. Yeah. I'm actually uh, working on a new spaceship just for this video. It's made out of uh, two forty bottles and a bleach bottle. <laughs> hey, I wanna. If there's any way for me to be a part of your movie, I'm down. All right. Totally forgot about those fucking graphics. My bad. Hey, don't do anything. Uh, I, I rewrote the script again because I showed it to a friend. And she said, she's like, this is kind of like Star Wars. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I mean, it's going to be a Western in space. A revenge film. Very gory and violent. But in space. <laughs> so are you having, like, are you green, screen, green screening actual people? Like, are you making actual sets for, like, face-to-face -face dialogue? There's going to be some sets in the movie, some of it's going to be green screen. I try to, uh, want to do as much practical as I possibly can. Yeah, I saw, like, a clip you did with, like, a dude, like, flying out of a spaceship explosion. <laughs> so, is you, are, like, do you straight up do stop motion, or are you, like, filming and green screening? It's, it's, I'm using, like, my phone. It's on like this uh, dolly track that like gives me like five seconds, but I can like edit it in a way where it's bigger or comes in later. I don't know how to explain, but uh, it's what was the question? Wait, you're making the <laughs> you're making the entire movie on your phone? Yeah, it's a Galaxy Note uh, four. I feel like that might be more work than if you had a video camera. It's actually easy as fuck. I mean, it's got really good picture. It's very sharp. Have you heard about the, the 7 blowing up? The what? Galaxy 7s are blowing up. Really? Like, when I, went, I, when I was flying to Georgia, uh, they made an announcement. They were like, if anybody has a Galaxy 7, please come to the desk and give it to us um, because you can't have it on the flight. And I walked up to the person and I was like, hey, I used to I used to be a cell phone technician. Why the hell can't people come on here with Galaxy 7s? Like, is there a signal issue? And she was like, no, they're exploding. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, they're blowing up. Like, we can't have them on our plane. <laughs> Did you see that fake video CeeLo did where the phone exploded in his face and it was all a fake video? It wasn't even real. That was fake? Yeah, it was for his music video. 
Ô, oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know if it was real or not. I only saw it like once or twice, but it looked real. It was like fake because uh, the giveaway was... He was facing the camera right when it happened. Like, you know, that's kind of like wouldn't happen that way. It was hey, just... that's some samples we should get, Alex. We need to find samples of like news clips of like this person, this teenager's phone exploded and burned their genitals. <laughs> Dude, why do I have to fight all the samples? <laughs> Dude, he, this guy wanted me to, like, find, like, uh, this guy. a whole bunch of, like, news reports of, like, teenagers dying. Hey, you did it, though. Like, cell phone-related accidents. <laughs> that shit worked. <laughs> That part of the oh, song, no, I found it. that part of the song where she's like, he was hit in the back by a truck at full speed, by a nineteen-year-old driver. That part's cool as shit. You found that shit, Alex? <laughs> I just scoured YouTube for whatever I could find. You find this very shit. specific. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what I'm gonna call that song. I named it Frame Damage. I don't know why. <laughs> like PH, PH Frame. Yeah, I feel like I want to, with my music, I want to try to like be, speak more, I guess. I, this, is, this is the first time I've ever done anything where I just talk, you know, and now Honestly, this is probably the first thing I've ever, ever done online where it's, this is, it's just heard, talking. I've never heard your voice. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I, I had I had somebody, a close friend of mine, he said, hey, I really like the videos you've been posting where you're doing dialogue. Like, he said the aquaponics was cool and the smackers was cool, so. Yeah, you have a cool way of talking. So I don't know why you're so shy. I, I just figure, like, I don't... I, I'm not a big fan of YouTubers who just fucking blurb. Like, they just fucking talk. Every video is talking, and I feel like... I especially hate it when, like, the video starts off, and they're just sitting there like, Hi, this is my day, but this is what I'm going to show you. Hi, but guys. I'm going to show you this and yeah, talk they, about my life. They always say, Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up, guys? They always say yeah, that. I was reading this so thing funny. on YouTube. <laughs> this thing on YouTube was like trying to tell me how to expand my audience, and I clicked it just, just see what it said, and it was like make up a name for your fans, and make sure you say the same thing on the opening of every video. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like making up a name for your fans is weird. Like. <laughs> Kiss Reckians. But, like, people have this certain taglines. Like, there's that Joey Oli guy. That, for, like, Alex, you know what I'm talking about? The 420 dude? <laughs> <laughs> he, like, I, I wouldn't be able to do it, but he's like, What up, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? It's Joey Oli here with the Cannabis 420, blah, 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 with Cannabis and Adults. And, like, he literally says a whole minute thing verbatim every episode. <laughs> I didn't know who you're talking about. Okay, yeah, he's everybody on YouTube. He's, famous, right? he's like he's like the one guy who has made a career off smoking weed on camera. Oh, what a job! You know, that pisses me off because I feel like I could fucking do that. <laughs> what's crazy? I can fucking do that. Yeah, but what's crazy is like these guys they get they get these platforms. It's hard to get to that point. Like this guy he smoked on camera and then he got to the point where people just send him stuff. Like, hey, here's a bong and he'll make a video of him reviewing the bong and smoking out of it. I want that. I want that kind of life. I want people to send I me get stuff. Paid to smoke pot on camera. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like good work if you can get it. This guy's, there, there's a YouTube <laughs> channel of a guy who smokes cigarettes, and he just films himself smoking cigarettes. It's not popular. It's just funny to look at. And his, like, bio, his bio is like, I'm going to be posting daily cigarette smoking videos. 
It's just like normal cigarettes. I'm smoking though. pot on radio. Give me money. More <laughs> money. Me money now. Money me. Uh. More money. Me now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, imagine having a pot sponsor. Uh, <laughs> just like have like a, but God, what's that shit called where you like start a, a GoFundMe account, but just for pot? Dude, GoFundMe has gotten me into some big shit with beatboxers. What? <laughs> like, I, I don't like GoFundMe. Everybody uses it's it. Modern, but... It's modern day begging. Uh, there's, like a cer- there's a certain way to use GoFundMe. Like, if I used it, I would say, if you donate $100 for this, I'm going to give you Trithology. You know, like, it makes sense when you have a product. But there's people, my friends, or I guess old friends, there's guys that I used to know, and they're like, they're posting shit like, hey, I want you to pay for my airplane ticket. Oh, yeah. And there's nothing they give back to the people who, who donate. And that's like, that's, that's crazy to me. Yeah. It's just like fucking greedy. <laughs> it's kind of selfish in a way. I, I just need $11 million to make my movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why I make those GoFundMe's. Like my recent one was, I don't feel like paying for rent. I think you should pay for it. I can totally pay my rent and I'm fully capable of saving money for it, but fuck that. I'm lazy as shit and go fund me. This is how you use it. So you pay my rent. <laughs> my friend JT said it works though. He was like, dumb people will do it. And I was like, yeah, but that's like dumb people. If you just explained it to them, they'd be like, oh, wait. I'm changing my mind now. <laughs> Be buddy now. That's what we should call it. We should do a collaboration with the three of us. Call it Be Money Now. Be Money Now. Claudia, you need to buy this product. <laughs> Claudia, you need to do the. I have a picture of Donald Trump on the cover. <laughs> you gotta do the ideas. The, the digital underdog thing, we, you should try to do the one where everyone throws samples into a, a universal pile. I, I, nobody, will, uh, nobody will ever do that. Nobody wants yeah, to but do Alex, that. Yeah, but Alex, check this out, because the modern home <laughs> community used to do this. Everyone would contribute like four or five samples, and then everyone would use the sample pile to make the album. So everyone's song would sound the same. But just different. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, <laughs> if everyone used the same bass note, but it depends on like how the artist uses well, the sample. If you do do that, um, just like keep my name off of it because if anyone else on Digital Underdogs finds out that, <laughs> I will, they'll be like, ah, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain the idiot is part of it. Fuck that guy. You are not that hated. That fucking pretentious bastard. <laughs> I liked your silent, um, <laughs> damn, dude, I don't even know, what the fuck is that shit called, silent, silent, silent night. night, silent, that was night. silent <laughs> night, that was crazy, wait, 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 let's take a break, let's take a break, I'm gonna come back, we talk about that, silent night, don't the forget, <laughs> fucked up, <laughs> Everybody was yeah. dying every day. 2016 <laughs> every day. was like a shit year. Because I had fucking scabies and then my bird died. <laughs> Damn. I swear, now nah, I could be wrong, but I swear if I never would have took in my last roommate, I kind of have a feeling that if I didn't have a roommate, that he would have lived longer. Yeah. You miss C, right? Z was oh, yeah. awesome. Z was a beatboxing bird, Alex. Yeah, I know. I saw that shit. Isn't that people, crazy? People don't believe it. And so that's... Okay. And I can understand it because I couldn't film him. Like, he was shy. The, he only did it probably 10 times out of the three and a half years he was alive. 
he, every once in a while, he would get so full of himself. Or you would, like, let's say I'd have 10 new boxers over because we had a battle that night. And he's just overwhelmed with all these beatboxers and they leave right so he gets amped up and he'll fly in your face and and like What's up, he's bro? totally yeah he's like <laughs> not shy he was not shy at all and he would beatbox and i swear to god it was the craziest shit ever like <laughs> like the fact that he could keep a tempo sometimes was just like holy shit Bird's got skills. <laughs> I would always try to like kind of teach him stuff. Like I would, I would try to see if he could mimic patterns. Like I remember, I was always trying to go like, if <laughs> <laughs> he would like do that, he really liked to go, to do like. <laughs> I actually learned that from him. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, Z, Z was like, I feel like I'm lucky because I know for a fact that there's not another bird on this planet that could beatbox like him. No. That was so crazy. I was expecting him to live so much longer than that. Well, it says, like, budgies live, uh, their life expectancy is three to five years. So the fact that he was like three and a half is kind of normal. Really? But there's videos, like, before I bought a bird, I saw, like, people would say, oh, I've had my budgie for 13 years. Yeah, that's... Like, that's crazy. That, uh, my mom, uh, she had, or we used to have parakeets. I guess those are budgies. We used I to think you need to talk louder. Your mic is really low. Oh, is she it? She used to speak up. <laughs> you, you sound like... Hey, you want to hear something fucked up, Claudia? What? I, I, I didn't tell my dad that I got Z because I thought he, because back then, like, he was still kind of helping me with, right? I thought he was going to bitch about it. Yeah. And when I finally told him about it, he, he's like, you know what? I used to have a parakeet. And, and his story, this is so fucked up. He said that he went, he went on to some kind of, like, field trip or school trip for a week. And when he got back, his, his bird was dead. And... So his whole life, he thought that his bird had just died when he went on that vacation or field trip. Yeah. And the, the, the real story is, is he said when he got older, his dad said that one night his bird somehow got out and he was going to the bathroom and he fucking stepped on him. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, yeah. It's like, I don't know how I feel about it, because it's like, I don't know how old my dad was. He might have been 13 or something. So, like, maybe it makes sense that his dad would, like, lie about it. But it's, at the same time, it's like, you bitch, man. That, that sucks. I was always afraid of stepping on Z, because I I almost did it a couple times. He would get on the floor and just, like, walk around? That's a, Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't like him doing, was getting on the floor, because... Him being a bird, he just always pecked at shit, so he would pick up everything he saw on the floor, because I guess they're trying to find food. Yeah. I contributed that to him getting sick. Like, don't eat fucking Dorito dust, like, you know what I mean? Like, I would always <laughs> yell at him when he got on the floor, I would spray him so he'd stay off, but he was a little rebel, man. It's like, whatever I didn't want him to do, he would fucking fuck <laughs> <laughs> Take a stand. <laughs> he is funny though, but but I feel like that's why he died. Like, here's an example. I have my food. Like a bird cannot eat beans, and I I would make my I throw everything into a pot, and he knows that that's my food, and he'd always try to like drink out of it. <laughs> and, There'd be a couple of times where I would turn my back for like just a couple of seconds to grab a fork or something, and when I turn around, his ass was drinking it. So it's like it could it could have been that that killed him, like him getting a kidney infection from eating certain foods that he wasn't supposed to. Because the week before he died, my roommate said, "And this could this is technically my fault. I just passed out that one night and didn't close his cage." And my roommate said he woke up because he was on the trash can. 
and he said G was acting kind of pompous. Like my my roommate was weird. Pompous. So, but he was saying like Z was acting pompous as if he might have been like, "Hey, you guys left me out. I ate everything in the trash can," <laughs> and like he might he might have like when I don't know what he does when I'm asleep and the cage is open. Like he can get into anything. He's yeah. probably masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Look a bit. But now now I have fish, so. Oh, my yeah. recent my recent death was a ghost shrimp. Like, oh, he died. I looked in the tank. I looked in the tank, and I just see like you know edible shrimp when you go to like restaurants and you get shrimp. That's what it looked like at the bottom, and I was like, what the fuck is that? And I like reached in and grabbed it, and it was like, oh shit! Like one of my shrimp died. Oh, he like exploded or something. I think when they die, they like they turn white because you can see through them. They turn white and then they shed their skin. Oh wow. And right now, I only see one, and I had four of them. Oh, so two have crit- already died. Yeah, like, uh, I was reading online, and it's, it's a huge ratio, but it says ghost shrimp can last from anywhere to a day to a year. I hated being a kid and getting a fish from, like, a the store, Walmart, whatever, and it died that very same night, or it didn't live a day. That always sucked, and that happened a lot. Well, that might be like, expect. <laughs> but that might happen because, like, my dad was talking about how he used to just buy buy fish and throw them in a, a tank. You kind of have to, you have to like adjust them. Slow, yeah, you have to slowly put them into a new tank. Why do they do they, they get shocked or something? Is that why? Well, I, like, I'm not an expert yet on fish. I kind of, like, on my next video I make about it, I'm going to tell people that if they want to do aquaponics, go right now and get yourself a fish tank. Even though you're not growing plants from it, just get a fish tank so you know how to manage fish. Because that's what I don't know how to do. Mm. You have to feed them a lot or you don't feed them at all? Um, in the end run... You can get duckweed. Duckweed. Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a lily pad, and it grows faster than the fish can eat it. So technically, if you get duckweed, it will just like you'll have a self-sustaining system. Oh wow! But the shrimp dying is weird. So I guess I just it? need to get fish. Did you eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it smelled so bad. Did it smell like shrimp? It's like the size of a... Of, it's small. It was a really small shrimp, like the size of your pinky nail, but it smelled so terrible. Oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> was it, it was just floating? No, it was on the bottom. I've been trying to figure out how to solve my evaporation problem. Oh, your water is evaporating from the... I f- yeah, I feel like every month I'm going to have to fill it back up. Well, you live in California. Yeah, that's true. It's dry. Well, part of it is that I have, like, a lot of uh, drips. So I guess, like, a lot of it's splashing out. Oh, but, okay, but... Explain what what this is because there's probably people listening and they don't know what aquaponics is. Yeah, I'm confused. Yes, yeah, hydroponics. Even. Like everybody knows what hydroponics yeah. is, and like aquaponics is where you have a fish tank and there's fish in it and they shit in the water, right? <laughs> so the the water becomes dirty. If you just had a fish tank with fish in it, it's gonna get nasty. Yeah. So you pump that water into a plant bed and the plants eat the shit and then clean the water and then it dumps back into the fish tank. How does it dump back in though? I use a continuous flow. So it's like, oh, it's, it's kind of like you just pump the water up and then it goes through the rocks and then it just goes back into the fish tank. Oh, it's like that never ending waterfall. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, you can grow stuff. So, like, right now I have uh, basil, um, rosemary, sage, and stuff like that. (laughs) 
So you're making your own food is what you're doing. I'm making my own like herbs and spices. <laughs> it's it's herbs. <laughs> it's ancient. There's if a, I if I lived in Georgia they, they and I had a house, herbs, herbs. <laughs> herbs. <laughs> there you go. Okay. If I lived in Georgia, if I lived in Georgia, then I'd be able to grow like tomatoes and strawberries and stuff. But I, I'm I'm in like a one bedroom apartment. You've always been able to like plant stuff and have it grow. You've always had a green thumb. Yeah, when I was a little kid, my dad and my stepmom, I think they told me that you can't grow watermelon seeds. Like you can't grow watermelon seeds. And I went out to the side of the house and I planted some and I grew like a it wasn't as big as a basketball, but it was pretty big. And my dad was like impressed. Oh, wow. How did it grow, though? Did you put, like, plant food, or is it just water alone? We just watered it. I, I've always, like, like, it, like back, I guess this is too much information, but who cares? But back, like, when I lived in Georgia, my friends would always try to grow weed, and they would always fucking fail. <laughs> and I would just throw some seeds in a pot and, and hardly water it with bong water. <laughs> I was the shittiest owner to these plants, and <laughs> they would fucking grow like two feet. And I'd have to, I, people grow their own pot, they, they're always checking on it constantly. To see if yeah, like, like, I had to get rid of it. My mom would come into my room, like, I remember one time I was, like, with my, one of my ex-girlfriends, and my mom comes into the room, and she's, like, looking at the plant, <laughs> and she's about to go on vacation. She's, like... <laughs> Oh, is this pot? Are you growing pot? And I'm like, no, that's catnip. And she like looks at it and she smells it. And she's like, this is this is, looks like pot. <laughs> <laughs> One time, uh, my mom was out doing like yard work at my grandpa's house, and you know we 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 hang out in the backyard sometimes, you know, smoking pot, and. There was like this tall pot plant growing like right next to the alley. She was like, is this pot? I was like, holy shit, that is pot. <laughs> so I like, yeah. trans You found ditch weed? It died. Like just wild, growing wild? There's like, <laughs> and like one summer I live in a trailer park now, and there's like wild pot plants growing in the forest mixed, it like crossbred with like swamp weed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think That's crazy. Get, I don't think you get high off of it though, but it's just looked like pot like no nah, you can definitely get high off leaves i have a friend who he brought over just the leaves of a plant once and i was like crazy stoned first off i just want to clarify it was my neighbor's yard it wasn't my yard <laughs> i mean that the guy that's living there now, uh -huh. but the guy before him, it was his yard because he used to throw pot seeds in his yard all the time. Oh, and then they and, just grew. Dude, that's cool. They just <laughs> grew them out. They grew. It's just fly, <laughs> grow. <laughs> It'll nature, uh, uh, nature, finds a way. Uh, I did a delivery to a guy. I did a delivery to a guy, and he had this like greenhouse set up near his. Uh, he was like in a garage, like in a garage house in the back of an actual house. And I asked him like, "Hey, you got a greenhouse going? Like, what are you growing?" He was like, "Oh, medical marijuana." And I was like, "Oh, hey, that's cool." And he and I asked him if he knew about aquaponics, and he's like, "Yeah, but honestly, I just got mugged." And I was like, "Wait, what?" He's like, "Yeah, dude, somebody came back here. They took all my plants." And they even took my trash cans, like, because he was trimming them and throwing them in the trash can. I was like, holy crap, man. I told him, like, you should just build a fence around it. And lock it. <laughs> hey, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about YouTubers and subscribers <laughs> and KLG Crazy Awesome Radio. <laughs> Are you even on? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, so, so this, I think this is... This is the problem with YouTube, because everyone's complaining about YouTube and how, like, their videos aren't coming up in, in the recommended and stuff like that. That's not how you should be using it. Like, I'm subscribed to Claudia, right? I, 
I would go to her channel. Like, I go to her channel to check her stuff. I click my subscription, like, my subscription feed. That's where I see all my stuff. Yeah. I don't know why people are leaving it up to the algorithms to show them what's new. And, like, here's an example. I like H3H3, but I am not subscribed to him. I watch PewDiePie sometimes, but I'm not subscribed to him. There's a lot of people I'm not subscribed to, like Braille Army. Yeah. I love watching their videos. But I think, like, that's what a real fan is. I don't have to subscribe to show my support. It's just the fact that I'm subscribed mentally. Every day I'll go to Braille Army and watch a video. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way, and, like, that's the way I am. I don't know why people, like are bitching about YouTube not working. YouTube works when you use it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ones that are complaining are the, I put are the big time. content on that I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I like the stuff you put, Alex. S space movies. <laughs> <laughs> There's some YouTubers, like that token rapper, he's got like 45,000 uploads. Really? That shit, that's crazy, yeah, like... He must get up very early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I only have, I think, a th I think I have 1,072 uploads. Hey, uh, when do you get to go to the YouTube space? You already got 1,000 subscribers. You, you have to have 10,000 subscribers. Really? 10? I can, I can get into it, though, because I have friends, like... What I, what I could do is go in for free because of my friend Guy. Um, he's told me, I, don't, I just don't do it because I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like I don't need to. But he's like, if you pay for the insurance, which every YouTuber has to do, it's like $100 or $200. He's like, you can come to YouTube space and use their studios. So I mean, I have that option. Oh, I totally do you can do use it. their studios and film with their cameras or do you have to take your own camera? I think they have equipment, but I would I, I would just want to use like green screen if they have one. But my friend, like my friend Guy works at another studio, so I could go and get green screen footage. I, I plan on doing it at some point. I think it would be cool to do like a flow run on green screen. Yeah. Well, we're doing but, like, a point of view so it's like everything's on the floor and it's just floating in space and then I go and like pick it up oh like that like that one beglary uh, video I did on Instagram I think it was I had like outer space behind me yeah I, I saw that that was kind of cool. is crazy beglary is like blowing up yeah did you think it was gonna get this big no. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was talking to a juggler that I just met. Oh, shout outs. Let's do some shout outs while we're on here. I didn't even think of that. Shout this, out. Ju this juggler guy, I mean, I don't even know him well enough to shout him out. <laughs> I just met him the other day. But he was, we were talking about why Big Lee is taking off. And I told him that usually when I play with a toy, I'll play with it like you're not supposed to. Yeah. And so, like, let's just say you took a yo-yo and you started hacky-sacking with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the yo-yo community would be like, you're an idiot. <laughs> in in Begleary, if you took Begleary and started hacky-sacking with it, everyone's like, dang, that's fucking dope. Like, I'm going to go try that right now. And that's what's <laughs> cool about it. It's like, and the, and the juggler guy said, it's because Begleary is more like a flow toy than a skill toy. And I, I, I kind of was conflicted with that because it, it is a skill toy. And when you start using it like like how I'm using it with like thicker string and, and heavier weights, it starts turning into a flow toy. Yeah. I just think the community, for whatever reason, is more open to like accepting any kind of trick. Like when I did the, the dual bag leery, like two, yeah. I'm just doing poi. Like, it, it's not hard to just, like, kind of spin them around like poi, but everyone was, like, really into it, which is crazy. 
Yeah, it's because it's new, so no one really knows what it's capable of doing, <coughs> except for people that are crossing over from other toys, like us with Astro Jacks and Monkey Knuckles. We've already been playing with different types of toys, poi. And yeah, but it's a different thing. It's like, um, I was it? trying to tell the guy that Astro Jacks, like if you're doing a rap, like we don't really, I mean, I can't think of any raps in Astro Jacks. But if we did do a rap, it would be like a cyclone. Like, you have to let go right when it touches your finger. But with Begley, it's like, you have to let it, you have to let it kind of go past where you think, and then let go. Yeah, like make it spin. And that, that took me a long time to like get used to. Really? You have to like almost let go of it when it's the shape of an L. Yeah, that's a tip for raps. Like, if you're doing raps, wait until you feel... Like, you want to let go of it pretty soon. Yeah. So, like, wait, like, a second or half a second before you let go of it. It's timing, right? It's all timing. Yeah, like, ladder rolls. Like, the trick to ladder rolls is just having that moment to wait for it to keep rapping. Like, you, you grab it, and you're like, okay... It's like slow, like I'm explaining it in slow motion, but it's like it's it's coming up, it's going over my finger. I feel like I should let go, but I'm gonna let it go a little bit more, and now I'm gonna let go because then it like lets it stick to you. Yeah, because you're using gravity, right? It's a trick of, of like physics. But exactly, it's freaking hard because it's tiny. <laughs> I still can't flow with it, like. If I'm just doing whatever, I'm like doing kind of like a brain dead repeat looper. Like I can't really freestyle with it. And what did, what did you get? Uh, what do you call it? What's your trithology? The mini one. What's that one called? I don't want to call it Trini. Trini. Have you? Are you gonna make more of those? Are you gonna send? Are you gonna send me one? If I make them, yeah. I feel like it's cool because I can talk about it because nobody can like... It's, it's, it's like, I feel like it's new, but it's still my toy, so it's like under my patent. Oh, so this isn't, you're not like... Well, I'll talk about it because who cares? But like, I sent a set to Matt. Because I feel like I'm not that good at Beg Leary. Like, he's, obviously Matt's better than me because he knows grips and he knows, like, all the transitions. Like, he, kn he knows how to flow. And so I can kind of play with Trithology Beg Leary. But I feel like if he plays with it and he likes it and he sees what I see, he told me that he is down to try to, like, create some hype. So like if me if I, I guess it would be aluminum, so he would send me like maybe hydras or aluminum titans, and I would make a couple sets, and then um, me, you, and him would have some, and maybe we would post a couple videos, but make them like kind of like edgy. Yeah. Like I, I think the idea would be, don't even say that like hey this is a new thing. Just post the video, and people will be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> And, and and if and if it, if people like react good to it, and I think the Bengali community might actually be into it, like it could be a thing. I I've been saving money, do shit for a long time, and I told Matt that I was like, I want to make trithology. I'm gonna try to do it in 2018. I'm gonna make like a whole new batch. And I told him if the Bengali community takes a liking to it, I'd be willing to just put all my money in on making those. Yeah. They're not hard to make. I feel like the hardest part would be tying the string together. See, now does it have, like, options for longer string, too? Yeah, that's another bad thing about my toy, is that once you tie that string together, if it snaps, I feel like a, a normal person would just throw it out or like put it aside and not try to fix it. 
Because if, if a normal person would put a new string on it and just tie a knot, and then that knot would start to piss them off. <laughs> and yeah. then they would just be like, screw this. And like that's the biggest <laughs> issue with my toy, is trying to figure out how to freaking make a seamless string. What if you used a, a magnetic connection and used the cord a little thicker? Like a crimp? Because I, I made a set, I used to use crimping tools, like, you know what I'm talking about for jewelry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm thinking more like the the magnet beglery. You've seen those, right? Get a smaller magnet, two small ones, and put them at the end of the string somehow. And that would be cool, but then you'd have to get, like, plastic swivels, because then the magnets would, like stick to the titanium and shit like wouldn't it have to be uh, user friendly so when you're when you have to change strings let's say you want to change your string out you it's dirty you want a different color it has to have some kind of way that you can hook it together easily so that people won't be like oh this is too hard to do you know yeah what I, mean? I don't I see I don't know because Matt I just I just want to wait until I I get feedback from Matt because who the hell knows maybe people won't care that there's a knot in it if it's the size of Begleary you know what I mean like maybe having a knot in it won't be such a big deal but how thick would the string be though I think like Asher Jack's string oh okay so it would be thin and then what the set that I sent him is the size of what Begleary should be for my hand but because of the swivels, it makes it longer. Oh. So I was trying to tell Matt, like, if we made a bead, it'd be cool if the, if, if the swivel could somehow fit into the bead. I bet Alex is like, what I the don't fuck know are y'all saying? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I bet she was like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> None of these words make any sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Bagley is, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a toy. It's like a little tiny toy. Like, alright, alright. I guess the best way for you to get some idea is like pen spinning. Yeah. But with a rope instead of a stick. Okay. What, hey, I've never seen anyone use those thumb chucks, and I don't mean the light up ones, I mean the sticks. Like, uh, I've seen pictures of it, like people are making like three inch sticks, and then there's like only like a two inch rope between them. Yeah. I'll, I'm interested to see how people spin those, because I feel like it'd be hard. It's tricky. When I was doing the, the bullet shaped ones that I had, it wasn't easy because the string was a little bit shorter and I had to make it longer so that my hand would it would, it would like lay on my knuckles easily because it was so long you know what I mean it's a different way of playing I need to fix those by the way I messed those ones up because the ends the were rubber yeah the, the bullet ones the bag that I made for um, that video for the cops like, the string that I'm using kind of sucks, because um, the tassels mat together like dreads, and there's no, there's no fixing it. They're just, they're matted, oh. and the string, the string's all fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 99 cent store shit. <laughs> I, 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 nobody's done it. I keep asking people, can you take a picture of 550 cord next to 275, and nobody's doing it. Oh, here we're Because I want to see what... <coughs> we are at the end of this, right? Is this the last part? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is the last part of the KLG Crazy Awesome Radio Show. Drunken Fest Fridays. <coughs> so I have a question for Claudia. What? <laughs> um... <coughs> I feel like we talked about this earlier with the digital underdogs um, doing something like this, but for DD. 
<laughs> what do you think of that? What would you, like, explain what your idea is? I think that if, well, I mean, me, you and Alex could do it, but it'd be cool to bring on artists. Like, specifically, it would be a digital underdogs thing. Okay. So, we bring on an artist, and we add, like, we would have prepared questions. Maybe, like, some standard questions, and then we'd maybe research them a little bit and, and ask some, like, personal stuff. Oh, yeah. But it would be cool to have artists come on, and we ask them stuff like, when did you start? Why do you do music? Uh, what's your current project? <clears throat> and upload that to the Digital Underdogs to YouTube. Yeah, that would be cool. Like tiny, like mini interviews, and then play their yeah, music too. Yeah, because you could do those. Like you could do a lot of those. And uh, you know what? I think this this uh, chat server thing works real good too. I like it. Yeah, if everyone has headphones, it's like perfect. Discord. It's new, right? Yeah, do you know what Ventrilo is? Yeah, I remember that. That's basically like what this is trying to like be a, bo a modern version of. Oh, that's cool. So we're, okay, so we're using, we are using, wait, what is this called again? Discord. We're using Discord, but we're recording or I'm broadcasting on Spreaker. But like, I'm in Texas, Kizrek is in California. Alex is in... Where are you, Alex? Milwaukee? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's mid, middle America, right? <laughs> yeah, mid, Midwest. Yeah. Is Wisconsin middle America? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Panda Star. Woo! Panda Star. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do more of these shows. Sorry, I'm just really stoked. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> My throat's like fuck. <coughs> <coughs> and me, what do I have to say? What am I working on right now? I'm doing collabs. Claudia, what are you working on right now? <laughs> Hey, Claudia, do you think you could scream or sing to the song that I made? I can try. I did, a, I did like a Screamo-type uh, breakcore album that was like seven minutes long, and it had seven tracks. And I kind of screamed on that, but it was like distorted. <coughs> I was thinking, like, I've never tried it before, but... Uh, I was singing about maybe like singing over screaming oh, okay. for the hypothetical hysteria. That would be cool see, though because like, I'm always singing when I'm on somebody's track or I'm, I would do sometimes I try to do rapping type style like for Direwood. I've done collabs with him and he's got this Mike Patton style of rapping. And I, I <laughs> so, so I try to kind of mimic my own version of that. So I've done that, and then I've done singing, but screaming a little bit, but not for real. It would be cool if you I was. You know, Deftones, that song where that girl in the background. I don't know the name of the song. Oh, where she's like. It might be R Rx Queen. Oh, I know which one. Yeah. Like it's just a girl screaming. Could you do like, that? Ah. Ah, like some kind Can you of. You scream bloody bad, eh? <laughs> you scream like you're like being murdered. <laughs> like, ah! Now that's hard. And that's something I wish I could find somebody out here who like is a vocalist, because that's like another thing. I've never had anyone write lyrics and do vocals over a track. Like, if you can record somebody do guitar and you can make a song so easily like that, imagine if you had a track and you just handed it to somebody and then they came back and they came over and they're like, hey, I have like a whole, I'm ready to sing the whole thing. It would basically make your song for you. <laughs> would they sing at the end or in the beginning? Well, like, like, like an example would be like, hey, Claudia, I'm just going to send you that song I made. And you, you do all the vocals. Yeah, 
I've done that before, but the opposite. I sent all my vocals without any beats. And then from my vocals, Anke in Germany made all the music. That's how we were doing our collabs. It was it was kind of crazy because it was I'm not used to that. I'm, I think of it the opposite way, and she's doing it backwards. Making music's crazy. Like I've met people who they the way they make songs is like they're they're computer producers. They write everything out on a piece of paper before they ever touch a computer. Which like why? That's crazy. I know. Like <laughs> that's what I say. But that's how they make music. And I mean, I've used Fruity Loops for like sixteen years or something, and I use it a certain way, and I use Machine a certain way, and it's really crazy because I haven't met a lot of musicians who produce on the computer. But when you watch somebody else use a program. Yeah. They can use it completely different. Like, I gave my friend my machine to mess with, and he used it in a way like a DJ would. He was able to, like, switch up his beat on the fly. Like, I, I, I get how he did it, but I wouldn't want to do music that way. Yeah. Just because, like, he everything that he had on the project was pre-planned. Like, there was none... Nothing he could do to make something new or like freestyle, other than changing things around, like switching from this to that. Do you play everything freestyle? You've been doing that live, right? Making it up on the spot? Yeah. Um, sort of? What do you mean? Well, like when you do like your, we- your jams, all that stuff, you're just making it up, right? Yeah, the live live looping. Everything, if I'm looping and it's not premeditated, I kind of like just go with it. And I'm really, like, I'm kind of slowing down on doing streams because I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over. But I realized, like, when I first started, it was like this kind of stuff. It was like... <laughs> And now it's like really chill, you know, like I'm doing just like (laughs) (laughs) with like crazy ambient sounds going on in the background. How do you, how do you do that and keep breathing? There's some stuff you can do and like breathe through your nose. (laughs) Like, uh, you can be like... But it's subtle, so you don't hear, like, the nostrils. Oh, like chocolate rain. (laughs) (laughs) Beatboxing is crazy. Like, basically... (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, but... This is totally off topic, but... Ever since Prince died, you can actually find his music on YouTube, Bill. I know. Isn't that awesome? (laughs) <laughs> God, he's dead. Thank God, he's dead. It's only because I always wanted to hear those those songs and see those videos, and I never could, because they weren't I want, there. I, I got to hear Darling Vicky. It was just like, yes! <laughs> you can never find a black sweat on YouTube. If that's on YouTube now, then that's cool. Which one? Black sweat. <laughs> Is that Prince? I'm smoking drugs, sorry. <laughs> Drug plants. I'm, I'm gonna come out with a rap song called Drug Plants. <laughs> um, and my friends were just like, oh, they were really talking you, about dude. stuff. Cop Singer. Cop Singer and Good Missile were two names we thought of that were cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, okay. this is what I was saying. Beatboxing is a bunch of in and out. It's a bunch of in and out, like, noises. So you have to be breathing in a sense. It's like 
These are all inward hi hats, like, and then outward would be. So if you combine them, it would be. So if you're doing, if you're doing that, you can keep your breath. Can you do the hi hats where it's like really slow and then it gets fast? Like you hear a lot of trap music. Oh, like rolls, like. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I don't. Dude. I mean, that's a good machine ever again. Wow, wow. Yeah, beatboxing. Just it, come over to crazy. my house. <laughs> That's how you, you do. like switch genres on the spot and stuff. <laughs> I'm, I can do that. Dude, my music is pop encore. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much destroyed every form of synth music. <laughs> See, I don't know if other beatboxers do this, but there's stuff that I don't. I don't record or put out or like do on stage. Like I don't hum in beatbox and I wouldn't show anyone that. Like, but I'll do it by myself because it's just fun. <laughs> like I've been doing this like like I feel like sounds kind of weird so I like wouldn't do that. <laughs> On stage or something. Do people ever make fun of noises that you that other people do? Like, do they do they ever poke fun at them? Yeah, there's like a lot of biting, but it's like that's kind of like a natural thing. I feel like you can't you can't stop that. There's um, when it's blatant, that's bad. <laughs> but there's like this thing people do. It's like a it's an inward. Uh, Inward bass, like, I'm probably going to do it really bad. <laughs> but everybody sounds... They all sound the same. It's like when everybody does the... It, um, everyone's sound kind of is like... Like... There's only so much you can do with it. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, you can you can find uh, Kizrex music on SoundCloud. I have, I have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> and Alex, I would say go to Kizrex.com. Kizrex.com with a C. I Z R E K. SoundCloud, like, you, do you, you still use it? I mean, I have so many albums, and like, I used to pay for SoundCloud, and I could have them all on it. And then I, they upgraded, and I honestly stopped. Well, I don't like SoundCloud's new layout. I, I, so I stopped I, paying for it. Like, weird obscene messages on SoundCloud, like, like messages from like sluts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's so it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any this sense. This is sexual harassment, and I don't need to take it. <laughs> so SoundCloud, when they upgraded the way it looks, they changed everything, and I feel like it, it went downhill. Yeah. But I stopped paying for it, and I can't, like, I only have, like, what, an hour? You can only have, like, an hour or so on there. Oh, uh, we're out of what time. What they need to do is bring back MySpace. What is, a, what is a really small percentage? A small percentage? Yeah. What? One percent? Just like give me like a like a random like point zero zero point zero 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 one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to think about numbers and shit because I'm not at work right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you're gonna say anything, like just like check out Alex Eliminatians. Yeah. <laughs> it's not recording, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh... <laughs> 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 Norm McDonald's really cool. 
What do you mean delivery? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just like uh, food. Oh, I thought you were like delivering pot or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Do you guys know who Norm Macdonald is? Yeah, he was that guy that was on Saturday Night Live back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he's funny. Like, he comes in the, in, uh, the store a lot. Oh, so What's trippy is I made a post of his skit, and then that very night, I hadn't seen him for months. That night, he was in the store, and I, I like, walked by him, and I realized it was him. So I turned around, and I was like, Norm? And he was like, yeah. I was like, dude, I just posted that that skit, and he, and he said, that was the last thing I did for Saturday Night Live, Live. and I was like, dude, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that guy is cool like the what i say about norm is like he goes into the store to shop for himself oh yeah, yeah. most celebrities like, he, can't even look people in the eye i mean he's like a real guy like he'll talk he'll talk to you like the first time i ever helped him out people like he was trying to get assistance and two people ignored him and I was like, I'll help Norm McDonald, you know? <laughs> and so I'm like, I, I go, I walk up to him, and I'm like, yeah, what do you need? And he's like, come here, and he takes me to the frozen aisle, and he points at the berries, and he's like, you know, I have these fucking berries. Like, I can't do Norm's voice, but it was just like, just like Norm McDonald, you know? He's like, you're out of fucking berries, you know? And, and I'm trying to eat healthy, and my wife is telling me to eat healthy, and I need to eat berries, man. I want frozen berries. And I was like, uh... You can buy some raspberries and blueberries and freeze them. And he's like, I don't have fucking time for that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, like, I guess we're just out of stock. <laughs> but yeah, he's funny. I, I deliver to other celebrities, but I have no fucking idea who they are. Because I don't keep up with that shit. Like, Miguel, he's some singer. His girlfriend I deliver to. Who's Miguel? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of like basketball players and like sports people, but I I don't know who they are. That's but all everyone else says that we deliver to them. Okay, let's do let's do a thing. Let's do a thing real quick before we <laughs> yeah, stop. Yeah, let's do a bit. Yeah, let's do a little bit. <laughs> And this one's gonna be called. What is it called? What are we Who's calling the it? biggest dick in Hollywood? Who is the biggest dick <laughs> in Hollywood? Can go to that. The biggest <laughs> dick in Hollywood. Who's the biggest asshole in Hollywood? <laughs> who's, who's a jerk? Who's the biggest one? Like I can't, I can't, I can't decide. I feel like a, there's too many. <laughs> They've all been acting Wouldn't it be Kanye? Bad. Like, Kanye's out there because he calls people out, right? Yeah, he'd be, like, like number one on the list, right? <laughs> the wor like, the worst celebrity, as in, like, you guys are saying like, an asshole. Like, like, who's... Yeah, like, who's the biggest asshole? Like, let's do, like, a top ten. A top ten. Who can we cue the prices right theme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough about celebrities to like <laughs> know the dick things they've done. Yeah, they're they're kind of uh, I don't know. They've all been really behaving really badly lately, so I don't even know. I don't really keep up with celebrities or sports. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of happy. People. I'm kind of happy that they're they're not making the headlines as much as they used to ever since you know, the whole president thing happened. Like I noticed that. Like you hardly hear it from them. Before it was like, who's dating who? Who broke up with who? Oh my God, we saw so and so. You know, like why? I I don't know why that was always on the news. Now it's like, what bad thing that... It still is, right? Because it's like Beyonce <laughs> is having twins. I don't but even just, watch TV. <laughs> but just now, though, like all this time, everybody's been really quiet. Does anyone still watch TV? I see retro. I see me TV. <laughs> Old people that still watch... Like, my mom watches TV. 
<laughs> old people. Yeah. My grandma watches like Criminal Minds and shit. My dad, like my dad watches TV. I can't, I mean, that's why I like the internet. You can like choose what you want to watch at any time. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to. Television is just so limited. Yeah, you have to, you're at their beck and call. You're at their mercy. Like, the show's only going to be on Wednesdays at this time. And you're like, what? I only watch TV when I go home for vacation. And I swear, every year, it gets stupider and stupider. <laughs> like, when I saw Ice Road Truckers and fucking, like, they have got, they have reality shows <laughs> for fucking plumbers. For fucking <laughs> Plumbers, like what the fuck is going on? Well, that is a pretty fucked up job. <laughs> but to have a whole like, there's like three different shows that are about that. It's just like, with, that's ridiculous. That's like, what if we combined reality shows? What if we take like Ghost Hunters and Plumbers? Ghost Plumbers. <laughs> You'd have to have some, like, that'd be like ghosts in your drains. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I think I got a ghost in my piping, man. The haunted turd. You have a type 2 free floating vapor apparition in your toilet. <laughs> Ghostbusters reference. Hey, Alex. Um, dude, I, have no, I have no way to explain this, but, like, what you just did is why, I like, like being human you can take two completely random fucking things and merge them you know what i mean like in a conversation in just thought yeah and it's like crazy what you can come up with you're you're baked as shit aren't you <laughs> i'm also drunk <laughs> On a drunken test Friday. Oh, are we gonna do I this wish next I could Friday? Get a cat. I want a cat. <laughs> you know how you can get a cat? Just like go to Milwaukee, in like the shittiest part of town. And if just I had a you. cat, yeah. But the thing is, is, if I got a dog or a cat, they would they would destroy my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they are assholes. I have a fish tank. A cat would, like, totally fuck with that. <laughs> would you get, like, a cage for it or something? Hey, Claudia, did you... I showed you that weird, like, Pokemon salamander fish thing, right? Yeah, was that real? I want to get one of those. <laughs> Like, uh, if you get a cat, you're just gonna have to accept that it fucks up your apartment because, you know, cats are the core of the universe. <laughs> this is like, true. Like, that's just how the world works, man. <laughs> I'm at two, you heard the three cat cats. Song? The what? No. The cat song. The cat song. It's specifically called cat song. I've never heard it. It's just called cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just the, cats. I talk about this song a lot. <laughs> is it? Is it? It was on a. Is it like a cartoon cat uh, video? It was a. It was a digital underdogs. Compilation. Oh, that one! I thought you were talking about a different one, Demonte. He, he did the cat yeah. the cat song. Do you like cats? Just listen to that. Oh, you don't have to play it or anything. It's I just remember like, that. Go and check out that song <laughs> and absorb its message. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna link that song on the on the on this show. This was fun. Thanks for doing the show with me. Yeah. The both yeah, of you. This is cool. I had fun. <laughs> this, I think this is the longest part one that we've done so far because I think last one was seven parts. I think we went to eight. Are you still recording? Are uh, you like you upload each part of the video or do you edit it together? I edit it together so that they're super long. Like the last one was like over an hour, I think, with Frank. Frank just kept on talking. 
I was supposed to ask What's this question. What's crazy to think about is like I'm doing, I'm kind of doing the same thing with uh, like streaming melee, What's, but it's like you melee? can just stream conversations and post it online. Just the idea is like crazy. You can stream what we've been talking about. We can post this online. Yeah, someone's gonna and hear at it. At some point, you could probably make money off of it. Like that's weird. <laughs> That would be cool. I'd be down for that. It was, it was good. I, I liked it. But yeah, I didn't want to freak everybody out because it was controversial and it would be... I think it should... I, with all my... I, I, I don't ever want to be first on anything, though. Like, <laughs> if you could put it at the very bottom... I would think we'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> like when Claudia said she thought it was too controversial, I thought I thought you had said something crazy. And I was like, I want to hear this. Like, what exactly did they say? <laughs> <laughs> I should have said something really off, like, you know, cheese whiz or something. <laughs> cheese whiz. <laughs> or something stupid. Well, I mean, the first thing I thought was like, was it racist? And if it wasn't racist, what the hell did you say? <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, I took screaming and gunshots and put it over it. Yeah, that was so cool, though. I liked it. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I was high. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> But no, it was you use, it was good. You use Ableton. Uh, I used Reason. Oh, Reason. Then you know what's weird about Reason? You can't reverse samples. Yeah. But I learned I learned a lot by like trying to make music with one of my roommates a long time ago, because he had Reason. And I would ask him something like, hey, you should reverse that snare. And he'd be like, yeah, I can't. Or I'd be like, hey, you should make the hi-hats go, like, really fast right there. And he'd be like, I, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, dude. Thor is the craziest fucking synth ever. Thor? Oh, yeah. You can make that thing, like, turn into whatever sound you want. You can get, like, lost in that shit, and sometimes you gotta walk away from it for a little bit. Yeah, but, like, you can add samples to it, right? Because that's what my roommate was showing me. He was like, hey, you can, like, take this sample and put it in there, and then it'll, like, run off the sample. I just got like a whole bunch of stuff from Machine because I bought Machine 2.0 and I got like Bleat Select which came with like a bunch of different VSTs. I have no idea about any of them but I'm going to check them out. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like bonus on top of getting the new upgrade. Oh, I think this thing is running out of space. I think I can only put so many episodes. And then I have to start... There's an iPod? It's a... Like no. six gigs? Um, it's not on it, the iPod. It's going, like, directly to the You should the do, like, speaker. a streaming thing on, like, YouTube. I know! I want to try that. I want to see how it turns out. Nobody wants to... That, that could just go on forever. <laughs> yeah. You know what would be trippy? Hey, why don't you say this before I forget it? You know what would be trippy? <laughs> As if we did like a, a digital underdogs thing where everyone comes on here and we each take a turn playing one of our songs. Live? Yeah. So it'd be like, it'd be like, let's say there's 12 people in here. We just keep going down the list. Everyone plays one of their songs. It's like a party. Like, hey, check this one out. I made this one like forever ago. It's stupid, but listen to it. <laughs> you know, it's just like, like we all like share our music. Oh, like that, um, like that It'd be one. like a party. Like, like, what was those little, uh, 
damn it, I can't remember now. It was called Jukebox, I think. It was an app. Hey, you need to send me your 8-bit thing. Yeah, I'm almost finished with it. I started it last night. I'm using retro bits. It's it's going to sound pretty good. It's already... It's a like, minute. It's Are gonna, you making it like a minute long? I'm making it a minute long right now. It's probably like half that. It's like 30 seconds. Is this the last one? Uh, the episode? Uh, the, how many are, like, up there right now, and how many are you allowed to... Um, once I fill it, then it tells me I have to start deleting, so I can make room, because I don't, I have a free version. I guess you can pay for this and get it, like, no limits and all kinds of stuff. Like yeah, that. I have this crazy concept. What if you just, like, stop the radio show and transfer that stuff to your computer? Or is it your computer? No, I transfer it to the computer because I'm doing it on the iPod right now. Oh, then you would never run out. Yeah, I mean I could keep on going, but the speaker runs out of room, and that's what I'm that's what I'm broadcasting it on, and it's saving it. Yeah, I feel like I wanna. <clears throat> I should like email Discord and be like, hey, you guys should put like a recording feature. Like that guys would put you, she would put you on the map. <laughs> Yeah, Imagine you like could just like each each user each user could record. So like they're probably spying on us right now. <laughs> Dude, I would if I owned something like this. <laughs> How trippy would that be? Just like every day, you just like hop into some random conversation. <laughs> right now they're thinking they're onto us. <laughs> That's what they say about Zuckerberg. They're like, if if he had Facebook, you can't say he he hasn't read people's messages. Well, there's so many He's people. probably specifically looking for ones about him. <laughs> I sh I shit you not. For like a month, I was posting fuck Facebook and shit like that every day, and I I experienced the most glitches. And the most crap, because I like I kept I was saying like Facebook is terrible, it's it's horrible, like Mark Zuckerberg sucks, and I was like I feel like I was being targeted. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how like in the early days of Facebook when it like wouldn't work all of a sudden, like you couldn't log in. <laughs> oh, like it would be down, like like Instagram does now. I don't, it doesn't do that very much anymore. I had Instagram not work. Like, completely down, like the app won't open. Yeah, like it just won't open. But usually it's because you have to shut off your device and turn it back on. I, I found that out, because I was like, for a whole week I couldn't, I couldn't post any videos. I couldn't load anything, it wouldn't log on. For like a year or two, my, I still have a Galaxy 4. This shit wouldn't focus. Like, my camera was out of focus for like a year and a half. It would, it, it was, something was wrong with it because I used to fix phones. Like, I couldn't figure it out. And then all of a sudden, it started working. And it's still working. But it's done that on and off. Like, I remember the last time it happened, it only lasted like a month. It, like, went out of focus and started doing that shit again, and I was like, fuck, like, I'm not going to be able to use my phone anymore. <laughs> but I've never had, like, Instagram completely not work. I've had, like, pictures and stuff not load. I've noticed also that Tumblr will, like, on PC, it'll just freeze up, and it won't do anything. Like, when you're scrolling down, it'll just stop. Out of I haven't used Tumblr in forever. <laughs> My, I still post stuff, right? Because it's everything's linked to it. Yeah, I still see you. It pops up on there. Your videos and your your pictures. Tumblr is like alive. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people who use it. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Like I like I watch The Walking Dead. Right, I know it sucks. <laughs> You still watch The Walking Dead? I still watch, watch it. it on Tumblr? No, everybody that watches it gets on Tumblr and they all post up 
like little clips and videos and pictures right after the episode. So it's, it blows up every time. The Walking Dead, this is the problem with The Walking Dead. It's not really a zombie thing. Yeah, it's more like a, a drama about people. It's not even about the zombies. Okay, Dexter. Uh, I don't know all these shows. I don't watch TV. Dexter, Game of Thrones, uh, Breaking Bad. These are male soap operas. Okay? <laughs> and the dudes who watch them religiously, you need to realize that it's the equivalent of a woman watching a soap opera. <laughs> it's just, like, retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but Breaking Bad, like, I, I swear, my brother tried to get me into Breaking Bad. It's just, like... That dude's face. I wish I could, like, make my version of the show. <laughs> it's, it's literally, like, it, I feel like the entire show is him. It just shows his face looking serious, and he's, like, kind of walking around looking at stuff, like, picking stuff up and looking at it. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what my, my version would be. It's kind of like a, my version of, a, what was that movie about dreaming called? Wait, uh, waking Life? No, 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 the, the mainstream one. Uh, it's like Interception or something. Inception, it's right? Inception. My, my version of that would be like a Lego castle getting punched in slow motion and then a sand castle getting punched in slow motion and then like a bunch of buildings falling in slow motion and then like a top <laughs> spinning. And it would be this guy and he'd be like, am I dreaming? And then it'd be over. <laughs> and like that whole movie was just that whole movie was just like explosions and slow motion everywhere right and you should have it based on a true story <laughs> <laughs> but what, the one thing I like about Inception is they did get a lot of stuff about dreaming right which I thought was cool I, I think their little uh, they call what do they call like the dice tops I have not seen Inception yet. I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've Inception's heard of it. Inception's like, they, it's, about, it's about them realizing they're in a dream. And so, like, that's why I wanted to watch it, because I like lucid dreaming. Is like, it, but the whole movie, they're in a dream, or they're dreaming about dreaming? kind of forgot. I feel like it's they, they put themselves into your head. Like, so, if you're unconscious, uh, let's say you have, like, codes for a safe for a million dollars, and, like, for whatever reason you're unconscious, I'm going to try to go into your head and, like, crack the code. Like, I'm going to try to get that code out of you. So, our job is to make it seem so real that you end up, like, spilling the beans or whatever. So, like, the whole movie was about that, and they did something that was just, like, totally crazy. Like, they tried to do what they're doing in the waking life by putting someone unconscious and going into their dream. They did that in the dream. Oh, so it was so like... So, it's like... So, like, in the dream, they made somebody go unconscious, and they went into their dream inside of a dream. Like, that's when it got crazy. See, that's kind of like Dreamscape. Did you ever see that old movie, Dreamscape? No. With, it's like, the, that might be, it might be shit. Inception might be a remake. I feel like every movie these days is a remake. It probably is, because Dreamscape was like this one guy, uh, Dennis uh, Have you seen Strange Days? I think it's called Strange Days. No. I've seen like a little bit of it. It's all it's, 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 it's point of view, right? Oh, is it? I think it's either Stranger Days or Strange Days, but like it's it's one of the only feature films that was old that did point of view right. It was kind of about it was a movie about like was it like it was like a drug dealer. <laughs> it was like a it was like a drug dealer. So Oh, I would put on a hat. Like, I can't really... Ex the best way to explain it to you is it's a hat. So I'm wearing a hat, and I go rob a bank, and I kill a bunch of the people to get the money, and I escape. I take my hat off, and I can give it to the guy, the dealer, and then he can then give you that program to where you put a hat on, 
and you live through the experience that I, I just so you get the same rush and the same feeling as somebody who robbed a bank. So it's like the whole movie was based off that. And and they did point of view. It was like first person and it was done really well. Oh, wait, I know that movie. That's another old movie. Christopher Walken is in yeah, that it's, one. It's Strange Days, I think. 